Welcome to the Remco Power by House Studio, and I've got a very special guest, Chloe Williams. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. That we actually me. used to room on tour, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Now we're in the studio together. So we're going to talk a little bit about your routines. Now, 85% of fairways hit in Hong Kong, so we know you must have a seriously good routine. Okay. So we want you to hit a driver on the energy meter mm -hmm. and talk us through the process you go through mentally and also with your caddy. Okay. Nice. Okay. No problem. Oh. You haven't got your caddy now, Chloe. You've got <laughs> no, to go to I the know. bag yourself. It's okay. I'm giving him a break. <laughs> okay. So obviously, pre-shot routine would be, we would talk obviously through the basics of line, where the run out is, what maybe if there's carry with, you know, if there's any bunkers and stuff. So after we've done that, it's then a, a, down the case of me picking my target. So I would normally pick a spot out in front of me, maybe 10 foot away, because I have a tendency to pick a spot too close. And that way I can easily sometimes aim too far right. So 10 foot in, or so in front of me, um, I tend to hit a little draw. So it'll probably be five yards right of the target and hopefully it comes back. So yeah, well, that's pretty really much it. Person, that's a really good tip for everyone at home. So you don't pick a target too far out in front of no. you. No. Because what happens is when I get over it, it looks good to me, but it's easy to kind of, it can, you can end up going too far right. Um, that is my tendency because I tend to get a little bit too close. Um, but my dad is my coach at home, so he's told me to go a little bit further away. And that way I can see it with the eye line that it's actually more down the line instead of too far right. And what we see with all great players in here is actually knowing your tendencies. Yeah. Definitely. And that is so important when you're playing. So that's another great tip, knowing Absolutely. what works and yeah. what your misses are. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned your dad quickly there, Paul Williams. He's actually a performance coach in Wales. Yeah. And he coaches yourself. Yeah. What sort of things has he helped you with with your routine? Um, I mean, with him being my dad, he's been with me throughout the whole journey from the age of two. So um, routine has been obviously ingrained from such a young age. Um, but obviously it can you know drift off um but you know like we said if you know your tendencies you can do drills to make sure that you could get back onto the basics um so yeah he's kept me in check with a few of those so it's down to me to be disciplined when I'm away then to do that I remember he kept me in check when I was shooting 85s on the edge <laughs> <as well. laughs> don't right, be silly sorry, this and you okay. get one all Go right through then. that routine okay where are we going anywhere or let's go on the 250 yeah yeah, let's go okay. straight, straight down the uh, T-line so we can get a good top trace. Oh, you. right, so that's much further left. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Chloe. Oh, not a draw, obviously. Yeah, but that's finding a fairway all day long. I mean, I've been off the golf course half an hour. I feel like I've seized up a little bit. <laughs> By the way, Chloe Williams did just shoot a seven under today. So of course you're going to hit fairways and 85% 85 in the Aramco team series. Okay. So hit one more for us and okay. then we're going to get the energy data. Okay. Now there's a lot of fairways out here where yeah. you can really open up the shoulders. Yeah, definitely. What would you recommend to people that really want to get some extra yardage out of their drive in their routine? Um, it's not really easy to, you know, give a tip in that situation especially it depends on the quality of golfer you're talking to but I think for me if I know I've got a lot of room to work with obviously I can you can open the shoulders you can for me I tend to kind of widen the stance a little bit more so I'm a bit more grounded and my balance is a lot better and then I tend to just complete my turn as well as I can I feel a bit more close to the target I'm halfway down that way I can really get a little bit more inside nice. hit more up on the ball and then just kind of follow the uh, the body line, if you like, and then just hit like a higher draw. So it's just got more carry on it. So when you say closed, you mean at the top, the shoulders actually Yeah, being... so like halfway down, I feel like I'm more closed. My back's closed to the target. Yeah. So it's, you know, back to target. That's to me more closed. And that way I can really hit it hard from there. I mean, if Tiger Woods, that was his feel, back to the target as long as possible. Oh, really? It's a good one. Oh, Chloe. really? Do you know what? Like First, Tiger. I've ever heard of that. <laughs> okay. Let's give right. it another. And also T height. One more thing for you. Yeah, so exactly that. So in this scenario, when I'm trying to hit it higher and get more out of it, if I can, I will hit it. I will tee it up a little bit higher. So I'm hitting 
you know, higher up the face. Sometimes higher up the face, sometimes it will dip. But when I'm hitting it more on the up, it should then be coming more to the center of the club face. So for me, that works. Um, it might not for others. It depends on technical situations. But for me, that's a preference. Right, come on, let's see you on okay. each one. Back to the target, Back Tiger. Back to target. Chloe Williams. <laughs> That's the one. I mean, it's better than the first one. Okay, Still we've got the data behind you. 81% on the energy meter. Still not quite Just a quite. reminder for everyone at home, this is against your potential. And I remember seeing that your energy meter driving distance is 286 yards. So you must have bombed that one. So you hit 81% <laughs> of that. Okay. Ball speed, 149. Okay, not bad. Just shy yeah. of the 150. Okay. <laughs> Spin rate. That's quite low. It's very yeah. low. Yeah. But I mean... It's fine as long as the ball's doing that. Exactly. I'm, not, I'm fine as long with that. As it's I'm fine with that. Right to left. So, tips for everyone at home. You've given a few things about what you do in your routine, but what would you recommend for everyone at home to perfect their routine? Um, I'm hoping everybody at home is having lessons, um, and obviously, coaches will give you the basics. Um, definitely take them on board and put them into your practice. Um, practice is obviously reputation and it's and it's repetition sorry and then obviously um just just be more disciplined with their with their you know their tips from their coaches at home I feel like people can just expect that it's going to get better through playing on course whereas obviously having to have that balance you need to go at the range you need to put some sticks down you need to do you know your alignment and all the basic stuff so that you get more consistent and you hit more fairways and greens but I think that will come through practice and I think when you do you know when you're on the range for me doing the basics is great because it keeps the consistency but obviously for routine um if you're talking about pre-shot routine as well hitting a few with you know getting the drilling in the the feels but then obviously after a five four or five shots going behind picking a target picking the spots that's a routine in a way then that you can get over the ball and you can just deliver it um and then whatever the outcome is you can accept it a lot better for me that's acceptance is key now you were unbelievable at that you're still unbelievable you're 34th on the race to costa del sol how much is acceptance of shots what do you do to help you do that um i mean mid-season this year um i was struggling i was in a position where i was potentially losing my card um it was after the Scottish Open, um, I called my dad. He came up to prep for me in the practice days. And um, I was hitting it the best I've hit it all year. And, you know, leading up to the Scottish Open, I didn't feel like I'd been playing that bad. Um, but I think once we reviewed it, I missed the cut by one. I was having a complete meltdown, um, saying I wasn't, you know, good enough. You know, self-talk was so negative and that's not usually like me. Um, but, you know, when you're playing well and not getting results, it's the most frustrating thing in the world. But we reviewed it and we went through stats and we went through performance stuff. And we figured that I was playing a lot more conservatively instead of a little bit more aggressive because I know I have the length. Um, so we, we, we actioned that there on and with my caddy, Paul, we've working together since London. And um, so that was back end of July. And we spoke about the Scottish Open and... Um, from there on, we went to the open qualifying, went on to win that, which was great confidence then. Then had another open under my belt, which was great experience. And then from the open onwards, I think I've not finished outside the top 10. Um, so I feel like- You haven't, I've had a look, you um, haven't. <laughs> so it's obviously, you know, in practice rounds, we changed so I could play more aggressively. So you literally play the course as short as possible to give yourself the most chances. And obviously if driver's not the option, then you work your way backwards. It's just, you know, working backwards and thinking what is a good score on the holes. So that way you're thinking more of the winning score and not what the cut mark is gonna be. Cause you'll always gravitate towards that. And that's, that's where I was at instead of thinking, I need to actually win an event, need to get more points to, you know, to get my card back. And I think as well at that stage, knowing that I was on that mark of potentially losing my card. But again, I was only halfway through the season. So for me, it was accepting that tour school is, it's not the end of the world. It's just not something that's ideal. Um, so accepting that, and then obviously then going out and playing with a new plan 
Um, and delivering it was obviously great. And then once we were starting to see results, That's you can just play on momentum and confidence, yeah. So not just routines, having people in your team to give you that confidence and yeah. playing aggressively because you're right it's so easy to gravitate mm -hmm. to cut lines when yeah. you're out here yeah chloe you're unbelievable so, it's it is so it's so impressive that you've managed to make that turnaround yeah in now 34th should we hit one more shot if you'd like yeah. come on chloe. Okay. another baby draw <laughs> okay <laughs> come on then good one to finish i don't know if we've got one more clip after this we can show you okay <laughs> hey <laughs> See if we can beat that 81%, shall we? Come on, Chloe. Open them shoulders, kid. <laughs> oh, Chloe. What do you think? Try Not and guess. Sure, before it might you be a little bit around. bottomy. Guess before turning? Yeah. I've got a feeling it's less. 79. I've got it, I've got it in my ear. Okay. 85. Are you joking? Love it. So, Absolutely love it. Okay. Ew, sorry, I've got it in my ear. Right. I think we're going to see one more thing before okay. we leave. And this was an Aramco team series event. Yep. And I think I it might have coming. disrupted your routine. But let's just have a little look on the screen. <laughs> oh, I don't so you just talk us through that it. routine, Chloe. What happened? Um, do you know what? I'm so glad that I played with two friends because otherwise it would have been very embarrassing. <laughs> And it's just typical, you know, you know me and I am a bit of a joker, but the coverage had literally just started. Um, the group in front had cleared the par three and there was not a cameraman in sight on the TV tower. And we turn around and the guys are literally loving life on the top of the uh, scaffolding saying we've got it. And I really hurt myself, but it was honestly so, so funny. It was the best part I'd ever made. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I had to regroup. It was mental. to go back to your routine, to concentrate exactly, yeah. and Exactly, yeah. I mean, it wasn't, you know, the shortest of par threes either. It was a good five iron into wind. <laughs> and honestly, buttoned it, and it was the best three I've ever made. <laughs> Chloe, I think you're amazing. You've done you. an incredible job in perfecting your routine, giving us some tips here in the studio. And I wish you good luck in Thank the rest of the Aramco team series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.